Hey, it's me, Mark Lee from Lexi Media and MailChimpMadeEasy.com. In this week's video, I want to show you a sneaky little workaround so you can have multi email sequences in a free MailChimp account. Now, if you've used MailChimp for a long time, you will know that this used to be available in the free accounts. And back in May uh, 2019, this year, the MailChimp made some changes to what is available in a free account and limited some of the things. One of the things that they stopped you from doing was having a multiple email sequence. Now, if you don't know what that is, basically when somebody signs up or opts in for something of yours uh, to get onto your email list, you have uh, an initial email triggered that will say welcome or send out the offer that they've opted in for. And then you can automatically set up follow-up emails to go either an hour later, a day later, a week later, three days later. You can change the delay between the emails, but you can have an email that goes out one day after, another day after that, another day after that, another day after that. You can build a list, a, a sequence of emails that go out to people. Um, and yeah, so MailChimp have stopped that in the free account. You have to now be on the standard level um, paid account to have that feature. But there is a workaround. Now, yes, it's not as easy to do this workaround, but it's still a workaround nonetheless. Usually the way that to pay for something, you're getting more convenience, you're getting more features. Often there's a, a bit of a sneaky way around to get things done, um, and this is one of those. Yes, it's a little bit longer to set up, but also if you are working on a budget, uh, you do have this option available to you uh, following this video. So let's dive in what we're going to do. So we are in a MailChimp free account. So this is my demo account that is uh, a free account. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a bit of a workaround to have this multiple sequence. So the first thing we are going to do is go to our audience. We'll click on view contacts over here. And we are going to go down to groups. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a group. Uh, we're going to have it so it's not shown on the sign up form because we don't pe want people to see this. And we don't want people to choose which group they're going to be in uh, because they'll get to see, you know, what sequence you've got of emails. You don't want people to choose that. That's kind of, this is something that runs in the background. So we don't want it so shown on the sign up form. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to give this group a category. So let's so you'd name this something that's more relevant to your uh, opt-in offer. So if you're offering a free ebook to get people onto your list and then send them some emails afterwards, you know, you could call this the free ebook uh, sequence. Uh, for, for this purpose, I'm going to call it a demo sequence. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. And I'm going to do a three email sequence. Um, but what I need is four groups. I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, so the group names I'm literally going to call email one, if I can spell correctly, uh, email two, email, uh, email three, and uh, we're going to call the fourth one email complete. Okay, so basically when somebody opts in, we're going to have them sent straight to a group that's going to trigger an automated email. We're going to use a post send action to move people into a new group, which will be email two. That will trigger an automated email as well. The post send action for that one will move people into email three group. That will trigger the email three group. And then once the sequence is complete, we're just going to move them into an email complete group. Um, just so we can move them somewhere, we can see who's completed the sequence, okay? So we're going to do that. Just a note on the first group. It, depending where you've got your opt-in form and how you're doing it, if you're using an embedded form, then you will see in the MailChimp Made Easy course that there is a way of adding a hidden group. So when somebody signs up, it automatically puts them into a group. That can be used to trigger an email, okay? Uh, my recommended way is on a WordPress website, you use the Yikes Easy Forms MailChimp plugin. With that plugin, you've got the option of sending somebody directly to a group. Again, once they go into that group, that can trigger the automated email. If you are using the MailChimp landing pages, then you will have to do this a little bit different. Your first 
email trigger will have to be um, signed up via an, a, a, a MailChimp landing page and choose your landing page that they've signed up via. Once you get to the post and action that we'll, you'll see in a bit, uh, you follow the process on from there, okay? Okay, so we will save the groups and we don't need to import anybody, we're done for now. Next, let's jump into campaigns. Now, the first thing I'm going to do here is just create a folder because we're going to create for this sequence, three email sequences. So we're gonna create three automated emails. So let's create a folder and keep those stored in that folder for tidiness and for ease. Uh, so we can find them a bit easier. Okay, um, as you can see, I've actually got a demo sequence folder there from one that I tested. Let's just get rid of that. Um, go away, go away, go away. Okay, let's create a folder. We'll call it demo sequence. Okay, nothing in that folder so far. Okay, so let's create our first email. So we're going to go to email. It's going to be an automated email. And what we're looking for is joins a group. Now that comes under subscriber activity. Uh, but in this section here, I don't know why it doesn't show that. So what we have to do is click on custom over on the right hand side here. Let's give it a campaign name. So this is going to be uh, demo sequence email one. Okay, so here we are in our email designer. Okay, first thing we need to do, let's change the trigger. Uh, we're gonna change the trigger to something more relevant. And as we said, for this one, we said it's going to be audience management and joins a group. Now we did say as well that if you, if, if people sign up via landing page, um, let's have a look, where is that? Uh, yeah, it's not an option here. When you create a landing page, it gives you a link to directly do that. Uh, we can work around it a different way, but let's stick with the uh, the join the group for now, okay? Um, just quickly going back, if you, uh, if you are using MailChimp landing pages, there is a module in the course that shows you how to set up a trigger, um, how to set up an automated email using a landing page signup source as a trigger. So just jump back and look into that. Use that as your trigger, uh, not the join group. And then once you've set up your first email, uh, before you make it live, before you do a post send action, jump back into this video and uh, follow along from there, okay? So what we're gonna do on this one is join a group. We want it to be immediately like the welcome email. And we want to uh, trigger it when somebody joins a group, uh, joins the email one group, okay? So update the trigger. The next thing we want, we don't want to, we don't really want to change the schedule. We just want that to be sent all day, every day. Uh, we're not worried about adding a filter or segment. And then the next thing we can do is use this post send action. So once this email has been sent, we can then move people into another group and then trigger another email by people joining that group. Just like this one's triggered by joining group email one. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a post send action and we're going to do um, add to group. And the group that we're gonna select is the next one in the sequence, email two, okay? So once this email sent, once this is triggered and sent, it's then gonna move that subscriber into the group email two. And then we just need to quickly design the email. So I'm going to call this email demo sequence email one. We're going to give it a subject of email one. Obviously, you give it a relevant subject. You give it some relevant preview text. Make sure your from name, email address, and your Google Analytics is all correct. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to skip most of that. Um, come to design the email. I'm just going to go to my save templates and pick a basic template. And I'm just going to get rid of that section in the middle because I can't be bothered putting a video in. Now, obviously, you design your email that's relevant. You put your offer in there, you, you know, your, your PDF document, whatever it is. 
uh, design your email to be suitable for whatever you need it to be and then save and continue okay and that is done that email now as you can see because this is the free account we cannot add an extra email into the sequence right here as we would be able to do in a standard paid account can't do that um so yeah this is why we're doing this uh, sneaky little workaround okay so we're gonna go to next and that's it start sending and that email is now uh going so what we're going to do here is go back to campaigns so going to click on recent here so we can see the recent stuff we've been doing so this is the one we've just created i'm going to click that box and move it into that demo sequence folder so we know where it is okay now we want to basically recreate that process using a different trigger uh, using the same type of trigger but from a different group and the same type of post send action to move them into the next group now rather than going all the way through that again we can just simply uh, go to this one we've just done click on the arrow on the right hand side here and click on replicate we choose the same list because our only list and it's basically a replica of what we've got so as we can see the name is demo sequence email one copy one okay so the first thing we're going to do is change that and this is going to be demo email demo sequence email two. update the settings trigger again we're going to change the trigger so it's relevant for the new group so we're going to change that now to email two because the the, per the subscriber has been moved into group two and that's what's going to trigger this email so we moved into group email two which is going to trigger this email we don't want that immediately we want some sort of delay um it could be hours it could be days it could be weeks depends on your needs if you're doing an email a day a 10 day email one email per day sequence then we are going to change it to a one day delay okay and click on update trigger again sh schedule we're not going to change filter by segment or tag we're not going to make any changes there but the post send action is we want them to now move into the next group uh, to trigger the next email so we're going to go to add to group email three okay update action and then we'll basically go in and design our email um so it's got the names from the previous one that, that we've replicated so i'm just going to change the names here um whoops two demo sequence two email two again you put a relevant subject in there you put your relevant preview text in there you'll jump into your email design you'll change your email for your needs um you know offering services whatever you're going to put in this in this sequence uh, i'm just going to leave it as it is for now let's do is change it and that is the second email in the sequence done okay so i'm going to go to next and start sending start sending again we're going to go back to our campaigns i'm going to go back to recent I'm going to click on that one that we've just recently created, demo sequence email two, and I'm going to move it into the demo sequence folder so it's there and it's tidy. So as we can see, we're in demo sequence folder. We've got demo sequence email one, we've got demo sequence email two. So let's go ahead and create demo sequence email three. Again, I'm going to go through the same process of replicate. Select our list, there's only one. Again, we're going to edit the settings up in the top and call it demo sequence email three. Update the settings. We're going to edit the trigger because now we need to make it wait. Uh, you know, you could change the delay if you like. We're still going to stick to a one day delay since the last email. And the trigger is now when somebody enters the group email three. Okay, so we're going to select email three, update the trigger. Post send actions, once this email's gone out, what do we want it to do? Well, that's then the email sequence is complete. So we're just gonna move them into the group, email complete, okay? So when we look at that group, we can see everybody who's been through this sequence. And then it's a case of designing the email. Again, give it a relevant name, give it a relevant subject, give it a relevant preview text, make sure the settings are right. 
Uh, design your email for whatever you want it for. And once it's done, save and continue. And that is it. We click on next and start sending. Start sending. And for the last time, we're gonna go back to campaigns. We are going to click on recent. We're gonna select that recent email we've just created and we are going to put it into the demo sequence folder. And now, as you can see, when we are in the demo sequence folder, we have our three emails that are going to go out. Just as a quick recap, let me tell you how that's going to work. When somebody signs up for an offer, you put them into the group that you've created called email one. If you are using MailChimp landing pages, the trigger is going to be different. Um, have a look at the MailChimp landing pages um, um, a lesson in the MailChimp Made Easy online course. Create your first email. Use a post send action to move people. Once that email is sent, to move people into the next group that we did. Okay, and then that next group that we we, we created was called Email Two, and then the second email that we that we've got here, this demo sequence email two, is triggered by somebody joining that group, okay? That email is then gonna go out with a delay. We've got a one day delay on that. Once it's gone out, once it's been sent, that email, it moves people into email three. And then the third email sequence that we've got, the third automated email is triggered by somebody joining uh, that email three group. That's what sends that email out after the delay as well. And then what we've done after that is basically use the post send action to send people into a um, email sequence complete group. So when we look at that email sequence complete group, we can see everybody who's been through that three email sequence. You can make this as long as you like by adding more groups, by adding more automated emails. Like I said, it is a little bit more long winded, but as you can see, it doesn't really take that long to get set up. It's not as simple as using a sequence in a paid account, in a standard level paid account, but it gives you the ability to create a, a multi-sequence email. Um, and yeah, so, um, you know, you can uh, you can do this. Um, you've got these multi-sequence these, these multi emails. It's a bit of a, uh, a way around it on a free account, but yeah, you've got the option of doing it. Um, okay, so I'll leave you to do that. If you've liked that video, please give me a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, look to join me in my uh, Facebook MailChimp Made Easy group. It's a free group where I give you MailChimp support. Every week we have a new video like this. Uh, don't forget as well, if you're brand new to MailChimp and you don't know how to use the platform, have a look at MailChimpMadeEasy.com. There's a super, super cheap MailChimp course there that teaches you so much. There's over 50 different individual lessons that you can pick and choose from. I think there's over about 10 hours of uh, video content just like this, where you get to sh you get to see me uh, go through the process step by step to make it uh, nice and easy for you. Okay, so yeah, don't forget about the MailChimp Made Easy group in Facebook. I'd love to see you there. Um, yeah. That's me. See you next week.